of Wimbledon with Helen Parker, who's head of the Wimbledon Foundation. It's the official charity for the All England Club and the Championships. What are the Foundation's aims? Well, we are here year round with a charity of the All England Club and the Championships. Um, we use the resources and heritage of Wimbledon to help change people's lives. Um, and we work in a number of key areas. So we want to strengthen our local community. We want to help reduce health inequalities. Um, we want to work with young people to improve their life skills and help people in need. This is a particularly special year for the Foundation, isn't it? Can you explain why? That's right. It's our fifth birthday this year, so we're young compared with some of the other parts of the All England Club. Um, and as you might be aware, we've got a new roof on the number one court. There. So in May, when we celebrated the new roof, uh, the Wimbledon Foundation was fortunate to benefit from the celebration event. Um, and we're spending that money that we raised through that, over £600,000, on helping to address homelessness in our local area and beyond. And the, the, the foundation is all year round, but what happens particularly during these championships over these two weeks? Oh, well, we get very excited during the championships. <laughs> it gets a bit busier around here. We have our ticket resale scheme, so when people leave the grounds early, uh, they can scan their tickets and those are resold. Uh, and the funds raised from that come through to the foundation and are donated to charity. Uh, we also have our Explore Wimbledon booklet for families, which is fantastic, um, and various other activities around the grounds. If you're Andy Murray and Serena Williams matches have made a bit of a difference to that ticket resale queue this year. Uh, you work with uh, charities that are both local and global, don't you? That's right. So during the championships, we are privileged to be able to host some of our local charity guests. Um, we have them here during the championships and then other times around the year as well. Um, and we also, more further afield, we support the charity Water Aid. We have a partnership with them. Um, we want to help to bring clean water, hygiene and toilets to three countries. So we support them with a donation across our three-year partnership in Ethiopia, Malawi and Nepal and it's also about raising awareness um, so we work closely together with them uh, helping to meet the um, sustainable development goal of bringing clean water to everybody everywhere by 2030. And I think that uh, something we've noticed is that people that come to this event from the different charities supported by the foundation they can share ideas when they come here. it's a great day out for them obviously and, and to get the link with the foundation but they're also sharing ideas with each other aren't they that's right because in our local community those small charities and community groups they work so closely together um, so for them to be able to make links with each other and learn about the different services they offer um, I think that does help to, to basically help people in need more effectively by collaborating more effectively it's really important work. Thank you very much. Thank you.